bush. What a beautiful time in the morning. <coughs> you won't see me here, but I'm just camped on the northern bank of the Pentecost. There's a bit of the moon you won't see. I'm just here in amongst everybody. It's oh man, is it? Just there's some people travelling through here. I haven't seen anything like it. You probably won't see them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and I'm eight up here. And I reckon down on the river's full. Bloody hell. Listen to the birds. He's going, he's going along the road. He's he's already been on the road. These blokes are going, they're gonna to go today. Same with this one, see how clean they are? And I'm going too. Like I said, I'm just gonna check me engine oil and power steering. Look at the butterflies, poor buggers. These people here from Karori kind of let me just camp right here tonight, last night. Yeah, I'll get her legs a bit of power steering on. She needs a bit. I'll put some in there. Check the oil. Oh, she's still good, but I'll double check her. If I can find a hole. I know what you fellas will be saying. Righto. Check the radiator. Yep, she's full. Oh, how beautiful was the Kimberley sunrise. My first and I know, 37 years or 36 years. Or, beautiful, eh? I'm just going to let it get a bit more light so I can see when I film the ground across the Pentecost. But it won't be far away. Driving out here, coming down across the Pentecost. She was just a dribble, I think, when we come across that the last time. <laughs> oh, there's got to be a bit of water up further, I reckon, in the cast and the net. Gib River. I'd never thought I was going to get back here in my lifetime. Oh, that's what it reminds me of when we come 
just rocked like that the whole way years ago and I, I thought it was called the Gibb River like for Gibbers Bloody beautiful. Hopefully the road's not too bad. Get up here and get a few miles and before all these caravanners get the fucking road that dusty you get choked. Check things over. Oh, Brian, me brakes out. Oh, there's bloody. I gotta take the brake flap out too. Oops, covered the caravan, covered the lens. There we go. He's gotta take this flap out so my hydraulic disc brakes work. Oh, that give everything a good wash. Oh well, phase one down. The road's like that, it's not too bad, but I'm not speaking too soon. Clip this up here, isn't this is my buddy uh, DC to DC charger. She's rough, but it works. Might go and open that window on that side. Buddy gets hot quick here, and I might rip me duds off. Oh, I'll just put this uh, put this thing away in the glove box so I know where it is. I gotta take me, you know, the old the castle, you gotta shift the hole and to get to the Tirana to get to the to the bloody Toyota to get to the well I gotta shift the bloody deep fryer to get to the to get to things. Now I gotta have a piss. I woke everybody up. Have to, have to go to the toilet about 4 o'clock so that was me done I got the tyres down to 24 24 so they'll warm up and come back up to 26 I think 26 on the back 20, might be 22 or 3 anyway I'll work it out I'll just put these pants I don't know if you can see me, but I put all my clothes and my sleep and stuff into bloody, because uh, I, I don't run the aircon. Although I probably could on this road. I just I put everything in plastic bags, otherwise it just covers in dust. Okay, I can grab that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I'm excited. Oh, no. Better put me seatbelt. Oh girl. Up on the lookout looking that's the Pentecost down there. Home Valley Station is in there somewhere into that sun. Where uh oh there it is down there. That's where uh Callum Munro did a season on the bow. In the back here there's all big flopping uh lagoons and that they used to fish. Down there I think it's tidal that Pentecost. Come around, this is where I come from, I camped over there. Can't see any dust coming, so no one's buddy following me. Ah, beautiful. Up this way. Come on, old girl. <laughs> oh, it's just new country. So excited. Lock the hubs. I'll watch him too. That one locked too. Yeah, they're in. Right on. Stop fucking around now. Keep going. What are these tires doing? Oh, they've still got tread on them. They might want spinning around by the time I get home again. They might want pumping up a bit more too. Starting to get funny wear patterns on them again. I should have given her a grease. I don't know what the name of this river is, but she's flowing. Oh, there's a 
Yeah, he's coming across, I'll wait. I'll, I'll film you. <laughs> you get bogged, I won't go in. <laughs> She's filming me, filming her. Uh, need to dry your brakes out after that. <laughs> It's all a flashing light. Here come the stars. <laughs> This one is. Mate, your number plate's hanging off. The heat with the flashing lights. Yeah, no, no, we'll get it sorted soon. We'll be right, mate, you got a bike. <laughs> Thanks boys, catch up. That's a water. Beautiful up that way. Down that way. Oh, yeah, well, that's a good river crossing. I can't remember this one. Do a 
couple of weeks at each. It's just a matter of packing my gear up, but that's what I don't like. I might be able to drive the boat round on the trailer. And uh, yeah, but anyway, oh, the bloody Drysdale River there was saying it's shut. No, no, you won't be able to get through the road. And he just said they just opened her up, that fisherman. So typical of these places up here, just follow your nose and go and have a look. The Cape Road was shut too and they drove all the way through. They just don't want it open yet for Flopman. Big caravans, that's all at the moment. Give it a couple of weeks, they'll probably give it another grade and then it'll be right. But the ones that know the, the country and know what goes on up here, you just off you go. Especially if it's not rain, they don't come driving in if it's pour or rain. Like, Jesus, there's not a cloud in the sky now. Beautiful. It's hot. Warming up anyway. Oh, I'm just wishing I bought me trailblazer now by the sounds of it and bought another drum of fuel. Bugger. Ah, oh, well. Palumbaroo might sell a bit of fuel, I'm not sure. I was going to buy another 20 or 30 litres. Anyway, see how I go. I only need enough for a feed. Hopefully see you in Columbaroo. Same sort of country, it's where you're going up the Cape, it just looks the same. I'm about halfway to the uh, Mitchell Plateau turnoff, I think. And I still got 140 k's to Columbaroo and then another 20 odd k's. So I'll get there today just. Road's pretty good, touch wood. Um, yeah, good as these roads get for just after the wet season. Look at that, it's like Bridgman there. All right, on me way. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, love it. Somewhere new for a change. How good this road from the Columbia River to the Mitchell Tano Plateau. She's just been graded. Oh, it's sitting on 90, 80, 190 back there. It's just unbelievable. The road's been pretty good, really. A bit of corrugations here and there, but nothing, nothing that bad. Doing 80 there now. It's just unbelievable. 80 seems a bit good here because it's not real wide, the road. She's just hum along. Good on you old girl, doing me proud as usual, 866,000 on her, that'll be 870 something, 3 or 4 by the time we get home, yeah, yeah bloody big old bloody dump bloody edge nest like on the banks of the, the Lehman Bright River country. Couldn't have timed it any better. Like I said, the road's legally open now. Just gotta watch these little fellas. Not that they're bad. You hit that hard, you bloody like to do a fan, put the fan sort of radiate of it. Alright. About an hour off, an uh, hour and a half off Club Baru, I reckon, and then. Probably an hour and a half, two hours or three hours to the camp. If things keep going good, one o'clock. I'll get there well before dark and set up, start setting up. Hopefully if I don't do a tire or break something, right on, catch you down the track. Oh, crossing the Carlton. She's running too, and how clear is it? That would have 
curled off the exhaust. Now I'll get up here and crawl under the old girl and see what I can find so it's fucking rattling. I mean, what's rattling, sorry? It's got a rattle under it, I think. The exhaust loose or something. I'll turn the old girl off because that would have curled off the exhaust. Now she's bloody running water everywhere. Shivers, that was quite deep. Uh, see if I can get under here and see. I'll have to go back and have a wash, I think. Come on out the chassis. Oh, she's cool. It's got to be that exhaust. I'll have to tighten her up. Uh, she might have broke that mount there actually. I don't know what it is. Something rattling. Anyway, I'll fix it tomorrow sometime. Have a look when it's dry. Hook this up again. That's me buddy DC the DC charger. Whew, I gotta have a piss. That was flowing fast. She floods through here. That's that bank. I remember seeing on all four adventure, they had to crawl up that bank there because this was all washed out one year. And they went up there. Yeah, they, they went up through here. This whole, this track here, because they were one of the first in here, or the first in here, she was completely washed out. So they went up through there. Straight up that bank there. Ah, all right. Only eight k's of Clumberoo. Oh well. Little lagoon there. Looks like man-made too. Maybe not. Okay. Keep going up here. Oh, oh. Going down the track. Just reminds me of what it was like years ago. Only a single vehicle with coming out to uh, honeymoon and all sandy. And we went through a lot of sand back there before. Distance is a little bit wild. Big rock in the middle of the road. I'll have to start filming and taking some photo of different birds and that when I get out here. I haven't stopped the last few days. I took some parrots. I should have got a better one of those cockatoos. But I just wanted to get in here today. I think we're coming up to it now. See anything, but I'm here and uh, I'm camped under this mango tree. She might be a bit hot later on. 
But oh, I'm not that worried. I should have kept over there. But I just wanted the solar. Good sun. Jason and I, we're, uh, we're bunging in another GPS because she's uh, the old one's playing up. She's losing the satellite, so uh, a bit of solder and iron through the invert, little inverter, through my power cord down there, <laughs> running back to my batteries. She's wild set up, but she works. What you do when you're on the road, eh, Jace? That's it. Anyway, that gives long enough to warm that up. That's trouble with this 80 amp well she she cooks everything. I'm not a crimper. I like solar. There you go, let's get it into it, eh? Oh yeah, you can tell when she's as good, she's dripping off it everywhere. That's the one. <laughs> I'll just put this one down. I'll tie oh um, no. Spice that next one in. Good candy pair of wire strippers. <coughs> Teeth. Oh, my dentist would love me. I should have actually taped that one while I can because it's out in the open. Good, good. There yeah, you go. Not bad. Catch anything on that reel? I was just about to say yes. Last night I got a fish. Oh, you're a legend. Yeah, I, I had a dabble yesterday morning, didn't do any good. But... Giving him power. Right. <laughs> so I can get out there and turn it on if the old one plays up. Yeah. Oh, as you know, you got to have double everything up here, haven't you? Oh, of course. Spares for spares. I wouldn't call it remote, but you just can't go down the corner shop and buy it. Well, what? Everybody likes to go <laughs> remote North Queensland, but it's it's not that remote anymore, is it? It's bloody yeah. every camp here, forty or fifty. <laughs> You're out here by yourself and it took two or three days or a week to get here, you'd feel a bit provoked, wouldn't it? But anyway, we won't let it, the truth get in the road of a good story, will we? Not bad these days, eh? You can run bloody solar and irons and everything. Yeah, off the little inverter. Mm. That's only about 60 bucks off super cheap. Yeah. Only a 300 water. Tell you what, but you um, you would you don't need much more for just your emergency sort of stuff. And then for welding, I just got the the two batteries I pull out the truck. Oh, you can run a welder from it. Out with Jase. I think he's got something eatable. Might even be a trevally by the colour, but that'll be good. Oh no, a nice nanny. Lift him in. <laughs> That's the one. Hold him up, big fella. That's the one chasing. Nice, eh? Good night. Come on, see what? That's him, that's what we want. <laughs> I'm filming him, filming <laughs> him, filming <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> right. Jace is on. Sorry if I'm pointing at the sky. We haven't fit done much filming because we've been catching. <laughs> Isn't a bad thing. It might be a big kite or a lump of nanny. If he's red, I think he'll be happy. Oh, he's got a good colour about him. Oh, he's a nice one. Nice. Yes. <laughs> 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 right oh, that's what it's all about, people. Slide him out a bit more. You better catch another one. We better not shift. Another big nanny. You want to hold him up? Yeah, you get yeah I'll get both going. <laughs> Are they going to duel at banjos going on here? You want a glove or anything? Oh, well, yeah. Bit of blood for the cause, mate. That makes number five for us. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. Uh, on the table, mate. I'll give you this back and then I'll put this one away. Yeah, get away, you sp oh. <laughs> oh, that's what you want. <laughs> Thank oh, you, sir. Nice. That's it. That's how we've bagged out, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Jase. Beautiful.
a nanny. A nanny or it might be a uh, finger mark, which is we could have. Well, uh, I'll have to look in the book. Oh, well, we'll see when you get him here. Chase, I'll do another one. He's, he's playing him down. He's probably 12 or 14 pounds or something. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes. Oh, look at that finger mark. We can have him. All right, first finger mark. There you go. First you better get him up. You better, oh, you hold him up and get him on your video. All right. I thought we will go up with a nanny guy, and then now we're on to the finger mark. First, well, the boat's just, the boat's, boat, sorry, I'll be quiet when you say you're still. <laughs> uh, 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 the boat's just gone looking and found us some more fish. <laughs> she does that for you. All right. Well, we're 